Everybody, this is Royal Desmo, and guess what today is? Today is the day which is the 20th episode of Megacraft. So yes, 20th episode of Megacraft, and you guys know what I like to do every 10th episode, at least um, some of you may, some of you may not. For those of you that are new, this is basically for you guys. So. Without further ado, we're going to go through a quick montage of everything that I've ever built, and by quick, I mean really quick, so let's go. The Royal Castle Wall, oh yeah. The item sorters for the auto farms, dun dun dun. Nether warts. Sugar cane. The cow killer, haha. <laughs> My very first house. My bed. Christina, Candy, Lakeisha, Conditious, Randall, Sierra, Ricky, Marcus, Marine, and Miley Ann. I said 10 names, but that's okay. There's seven horses, 10 names. It works. Experience. Grinder. Oh my gosh. Skirlington. Ah, get away. Ah. Experience grinder. Experience grinder storage. Potion brewing stand. Redstone stuff. Sign with a water bottle inside of it. The Royal Blacksmith. The Blacksmith Storage. The Royal Place to Eat. It doesn't have a name yet. A pumpkin. The Chicken Aquarium. That's it, everybody. So, that's a quick rundown of my place. So now, for those of you that are new, you kind of know what's going on around here. You kind of know what's going on. So... Let's actually go to my house because I think somebody left me a present on my front steps. But yes, for those of you that are new, welcome to Megacraft. This is Royal Desmil's perspective of Megacraft. Uh, Tooth Pistol 49 is the other member of this server. And yeah, this is my let's play of it. So this is so everything you just saw was basically everything that I built or done. Um, but yeah, so, okay, so let's see. Enjoy some delicious taters. Sincerely, Tooth Pistol 49. <gasps> oh my goodness, look at that. He labeled them with a the name brand. Oh man, I don't know if I'm ever going to eat these. They're so special. I think I might just throw them in my awesome food storage. But yeah, actually, I kind of need your guys' help here. Because I don't know what to name this thing. It's, it has a lot of food inside of it. So if you guys can come up with a good name, that would be just fantastic. If you haven't caught on to my drift, I kind of name everything Royal something. I mean, because, you know, it kind of fits my name and stuff. So the Royal Wall, the Royal Blacksmith. What should this one be? The Royal Diner? I have no idea. I haven't brainstormed whatsoever. But... I actually want to store these tooth taters, and they're really special, so I'll put them back there. I don't know when I'm going to eat those. It's going to be for a special occasion, I guess. That's like 48 um, levels of experience that I'll be eating. <laughs> some, that's some expensive taters. All right. And what else did I want to show you guys? Oh, yeah. So, I have a cape. Look at this. I have a cape. I have a cape. And it blows in the wind when I run, like so. Wee! Haha! <laughs> Look at me in my cape. I'm so awesome because I have the Optifine cape. So yeah, me and Tooth Pistols decided we would donate some monies to Optifine so we can get awesome capes. So there it is. There's my cape. All right. So I know you guys are dying to see what this thing does over here. But um, I will go there soon. I actually want to do something else. Let me just run over here. I actually mined a bunch of um, stuff. Well, I mined this stuff a really long time ago. I just haven't gotten around to doing anything with it. But um, here it is. So I actually want to show you how something works. So I'm just going to take out all the gold and iron, just like I did. And let's go start smelting this. 
All right, so here it is. Basically, you guys remember this thing. I never really showed you how it exactly worked. Just kind of built it. So I'm gonna show you real quick. So here's where the iron goes. So I just toss all the iron in there. And then I can toss all my gold in here. And eventually it's gonna cook all and it's all gonna go down into these chests. So here's where the ingots will go. And here's where the iron ingots will go. So yeah, that's how that works. Uh oh. Oh no. <coughs> ah, excuse me. That was a sneeze. What the heck? The grass looks so weird. That would be optifying. Um, I forget what it's called. I think it's like better grass or something. Actually, yeah, I don't know what it's called. But the grass looks weird. Look at it. It's like, I don't know. It feels different. I guess I did contribute to this thing. I helped to build it, so I guess this would be included on one of the things that I built. But I actually came over here so I could start getting my iron. Oh, yes. So this has just been sitting here collecting, and I just decided to pick up my order and um, steal a bunch from Tooth. Just kidding. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't steal from him. Ah, oh, perfect timing. Time to use my instant bed in a pocket. Haha. <laughs> See, if I carry a bed with me, I never have to worry about mobs spawning. Fantastic. Alright, you guys. So last time, you saw me while I was starting to build this thing. And, well, I've done quite a bit of work. I've actually finished up the design of it. Well, except for up here, obviously. But I know what I want to do with this thing. Um, it's not going to be fully functional until 1.8 comes out, though. That's the... That's the kind of downside to it. I mean, I guess I could hook it up so it works for right now and then switch it over later to what I want it to be. I think that's what I'll do. So yeah, I'll do that. But um, let's go downstairs and take a look, shall we? So this thing is three layers high, tall, short, whatever you want to call it. And um, so yeah, here's all the blocks. I don't even know how many blocks this is by. It's on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So whatever the heck 19 by 6 is, which I'm going to find out in just a second. And don't touch me, zombie. I'm trying to do some calculator stuff. It's quite distracting. So 19 times 6 is 114. So every layer will produce basically double that. So a little over 200 per layer. So that's not too bad for just, um, this is actually going to be a fully, fully automatic. Like this is going to be 100% automatic when 1.8 comes out. At least for the two layers with potatoes and carrots in it. Because with the, I'm going to enclose this area and then I'm going to put a, a farmer villager in here. And I'm going to load him up with one type of vegetable and he will do all my farming for me. So yeah, that's the plan, is to have a farmer on the, the the third level, which is the third one down, and the second level I'm gonna have one for both carrots and potatoes. So I'm gonna have a farmer on each one. There is a village over that way, quite a ways. I don't think it's gonna interfere with my villagers over here. If it does, then that really sucks. But it's so it's way over there in the desert, so I think I'm okay. Um, but yeah, this is just your standard um, piston lifts up and then water comes out and how it's all gonna work is I actually built the clock and this will automate all farms so this will be for the potato wheat or not the wheat the wheat's gonna be hooked up separately because I don't think you can have a villager automatically do wheat because he'll his inventory will fill up with wheat and then um, you he won't be able to plant any more seeds so I think that's why wheat can't be fully automated yet at least that's what I think but who knows and so if we go down here this is what's gonna make the magic happen so this is gonna automate the potato farm and the carrot farm the sugarcane farm and the watermelon and pumpkin farm so this is what's gonna automate it it's basically just a, a clock timer um, I set up a little example there's only a little bit in here there is 32 pieces of cobblestone being transferred back and forth 
and there is a total of four blocks over on this side. So basically it'll go through two 32 cycles of blocks before it sends one signal to allow one cobblestone to go into here. And once this one, once this fourth one goes into here, which it's going to do in, as soon as this pile is gone, it will allow the redstone to turn on. So just wait a second, Oops, like that. So the redstone just turned on and now it'll stay on. So it'll go through one cycle. And then after that cycle, all this will go back into the dropper. And as soon as it goes through one more cycle after this, it'll actually turn off the redstone. So that'll allow enough time for the water to go down and um, that'll allow enough time for the water to to wash away my beautiful vegetables. So that's basically it in a nutshell. Um, I have it, I don't have it set up right now. I'm actually gonna take these out because I was just having that here so I could show you an example of it. But um, I don't need to do that anymore. So give me back my stuff. And you need to stop transferring stuff back and forth. Give me that. Okay, there we go. So I have it, I have, this is basically, Oh man, I messed it all up. Okay, so this is supposed to be a stack of 50 and 64. So the 64 is gonna go inside this hopper side and the 60 is gonna go over here. So basically that will allow for roughly 50 minutes for the villagers to plant all their yums and then 50 minutes to grow. And every 50 minutes, it'll just go through that cycle and all my farms will harvest and then there's more hold on boys and girls hold on to your seats it's about to get crazy because down here this is my items um elevator i guess you could say i was gonna do a water one but then i decided oh what the heck i'll just do this so this is the item elevator um so yeah it's designed pretty much like any other item elevator would be and let's see i don't have a still i have a stack of baked potatoes so i'll put that in and it starts working for some reason i thought this was supposed to be silent but it's making noise so oh well it's gonna work so every layer will have all that all the hoppers and it'll just all collect over into this dropper and then it'll just you know spit everything out and then I'm going to have item sorters going behind this building because this is where I'm going to store all the crops basically inside this building. And there's going to be item sorters back here. Hopefully I can fit everything right here. I don't know if I can depending on how many items there are. It's going to be a tight fit. I might need to move this over just a little bit. But the idea is to have all the items stored in this building, which I don't know what it's gonna look like, but it'll be there. And yeah, that's the rundown of it, of what I plan on doing with this thing. Um, the wheat layer, I'm just gonna hook it up to a button that I can press, and I'll call that good, because, I mean, until they, there's a way to fully automate wheat, then um, maybe I'll change it, but for now, I'll just hook it up to a a timer so that way the water will have enough time to move all the wheat down to the hoppers and then it'll turn off and then I'll have to manually plant the wheat but it's not a big deal considering everything else will be fully automated once 1.8 comes out um, hopefully soon ah <sighs> okay well I think I'm gonna go ahead and start building a little bit on this I actually want to finish this upper layer and I don't know what it's gonna look like quite yet oh this might not be good I'm almost out of quartz Ooh, I hate quartz so much why do you have to be such a beautiful block and super expensive I, I hate it absolutely hate it okay well we need to figure out a design for this so I think I'm gonna do a little bit of that on camera or actually, you know what, I'm going to take a cut right here and I'm going to build a little bit of a design, figure out what I'm going to do and then I'll come back on camera and build it and then there's something else that I want to show you guys, so stay tuned. Alright, so I think I have somewhat of a design kind of going here. I don't know how I feel about it quite yet, but uh, 
yeah, this is basically how I come up with my designs for anything else. So, might as well just keep going with whatever the heck I was doing, right? Any hosers. I do want to thank you guys because um, you guys submitted some feedback on how you actually like to watch my videos. And some of you said that you like to watch me make progress off cam or watch or less on camera and more progress. So I think I may just kind of do a medium of both. Like I'll have times like what I'm doing right now, I'm just kind of building and talking. And then I will have other times where I will just cut and make some progress and then come back. So I think that will be the best way to do it. And I may just keep it that way for a little while and see how that, this is actually looking kind of ugly. Um, but yeah, I think I'll do it like that. And then just kind of see how that goes. So, I mean, what I'm doing right now, I don't really know. Just kind of, <laughs> just kind of testing stuff out, see what looks the best, and yeah, I don't know what's gonna look the best here, to be honest. I mean, how would it look with a, a white border going around it like that? That actually doesn't look too bad. Kind of hides that funky redstone. The reason I did it like this is because that's how it is in the layers below. Um, if you guys didn't notice. I made the design like that in the ceiling. I don't know why. Just different, I guess, with the red here and then the blue in the background. <laughs> Just preference. And I guess that's how I decided to do it. There's not, not much else to it besides that's just what I wanted to do. I am going to run out of nether. Or. What is this stuff? Quartz block. I'm going to run out of quartz. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do actually is I think I'm gonna cover the roof with um, quart half slabs and I think I have some of those somewhere. Um, but for here, I'm just gonna go like this, I think. Oh, oh no, oh no, I'm just about out. I like the saddest day ever. Oh, depressing. But at least you can see what's going on in there. And I don't know if I like this very, oh my gosh, holy shnikes. Zoinkers, that was not very safe of me. What I want to do is, let's see, let's see more glass. And, oh, here we go. Got some of these. You know, at this point, I would rather build with iron blocks than with quartz, just because <laughs> the quartz I feel are a lot more valuable at this time than, um, more valuable than what am I trying to say? Iron blocks. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. I just want to see how this is going to look. If I cover that up and hide it on top so it's not as ugly, I think that'll look just fantastic. Not quite sure on how I'm going to do this part yet, but I'll need to figure that out. Let me see how that looks. Yeah, I actually kind of like that. I think I do. I think I do. I think I approve. I approve of this message. And yeah. So yeah, this was the idea. I kind of wanted it to be halfway hidden in the ground anyways. Oh wait, you know what? I just thought of an even more brilliant idea. I'll go like this and I will keep that part open. Ha, oh, like a little sunroof. Somebody's starting to get smart. Yes, I am. Okay, and I am out. I am out of quartz. I think that's literally like all the quartz that I had. And, yep, yep, looks like it. Well, well, we can at least go downstairs and start finishing up the glass. So for next episode, I will have to, actually, let me go grab this glass that's cooking. Okay, so I didn't notice that is a little, little abstract. Um, so I probably will change, just like maybe add some kind of design on each side where this is so I can kind of cover that up. I think that would look pretty good if I made that change. And then I want kind of stairs going up to this. So you can kind of just walk up and be like, oh, I wonder what's going on in there. Watch the wheat grow all night, day long. <laughs> It'll be great. So yeah, I am out of quartz completely. So let's just go finish the glass downstairs. And like I was saying, there was one more thing that I wanted to show you guys. And that is my progress on my art that I've been drawing. So. Currently right now I'm still practicing before I make a, uh, a speed art video because it actually takes me quite a while to draw these so I need to get better at um, doing things faster, you know? 
being quick at it rather than slow. I might actually just change all these out for solid pieces of glass. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's kind of weird looking, but anyways. I've been drawing, I've been practicing, and I'm gonna show you something that I'm working on. I'm actually making our new, um, what's it called? I'm currently in the process of making our new banner for our channel. So that has, um, still coming up with a design for it, but I've been drawing a character and I'm gonna show it on the screen right now. And so, well, bam. So that, that's my friends. That is me, Royal Desmo. And I am looking sexy. Just kidding. No, but, <laughs> but yeah, this is my progress so far with one drawing. I'm still um, drawing this, obviously, as you can tell. But this is what it looks like so far. So you guys should let me know what you guys think of that. And that's that. Just finishing up the glass down here. This is all eventually going to be cleared out. Um, well, eventually like the area around here is going to be cleared out so there's going to be like a big underground facility type thing going on in here actually you know what i actually might make the storage downstairs rather than coming out outside that may actually work a lot better i think i'm going to do that make the storage down here under the ground under the the vegetable farm place i think that's actually a really good idea i might just do that um, but yeah, anyways, this is going to be all cleared out so you can come down here and like walk around the whole facility and you can see it more better underground and stuff. And then that's why I have my clock stored away like deep in the ground over there somewhere. But one more layer to go and I think I'm just going to do that off camera and then let's do a challenge this video. I actually haven't done challenges for quite a Whoa, what the? How did I just turn around like that? I did not do that. That game just did that to me, turned me all the way around. But anyways, let's go do a challenge because I haven't done one for a super long time. I'm gonna update the book real quick. Um, there's still things that I'm missing from comments a while ago and then um, we will go ahead and do one. All right, here it is you guys, the Royal Book of Duty or the Royal Challenge Book of Duties. I think that's what I decided to call it. But yes, challenge is left by all of you guys and there was one that I actually wanted to do this one is from the past because this one I actually tried to do it once and I ended up killing my horse that I I loved so much Titan for any of you guys that remember Titan was such a good horse and he died very bravely trying to kill this creeper so James D I accept this challenge challenge once again and I'm gonna use one of these horses that I bred over here that aren't as good, because in here, this is where my good horses are. There's, I forget which one's which, but um, I think the white one and this black one are like the best ones that I have. But this one is just an off-breed of the two, so you know, I can, I can sacrifice one horse. Maybe I should put some armor on him. Do you think that'll help? Help us win the war? Oh, well, I'm getting lag already. Hopefully, if I put a piece of armor on him, it'll actually keep him safe, maybe, perhaps. I guess we'll find out how much that helps. All right, so we shall wait till night. Oh, and before I forget, you guys are asking for a tutorial of this wall. Well, guess what? Big announcement, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make a tutorial on how to build this wall. It'll probably be in a three part, <clears throat> Three different parts, so th th yeah. three different videos. Basically, this main part will be one video, and then I'll show one video on how to build a tower that continues on straight, and then I'll show how to build a corner piece for a third video. And as far as interior design goes, I mean, I don't have any place where stairs can be yet, so I probably will later on release a part four, um, kind of just doing the interior decoration of the building or the castle wall as soon as I decide to um, come up with a design for the inside of it. So look forward to that. There's going to be three parts to it most likely and possibly a fourth if I ever get around to, well, of course I'm going to one of these days, but um, let's go ahead and do this challenge real quick. So let's wait till night and we shall continue on. Kill a creeper on a horse or a donkey using a wood sword. Okay, so I'm going to drop this book in here just in case something dramatic happens to me. And I probably should put on this armor before I do this for protection. 
All right, I got my cape on. Let's do this. I can do this this time because I have a beautiful cape on. Oh, there we go. There's my victim. Wait, but there's like five of them over there. I don't want to deal with that. Okay, there's our victim right there. That's the one. That's the one I'm going to kill. Okay. Um, holy crap, I am lagging. So I'm I'm literally moving right now. Um, but um, it's kind of not working out right. Okay, maybe if I just... Uh, jump! Oh, God. Oh, gosh. I don't know what's happening. Mm -hmm. I am super scared. Okay, I think I got a hit in. I got a hit in. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's go back. Oh, gosh. Let's do it again. Um, did I hit him? Okay, I got this. Here we go. This is the final count, dude. Come on, baby. Do it. Do. Oh, oh. I don't know what's going on, but I'm scared. Oh. Okay, there's another creeper over there. I need to keep track of which one's which. All right, here I come. Time for another attack. Oh. Okay, so far, so good. I am playing in like slow motion here. Oh no, look at all these mobs. Did I kill him? Ow, I got hit. Ah, don't worry about that. I did it. I did it. I did it. I killed the creeper on the horse. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go to bed before um something bad happens. Wow, I can't believe I just did that. See, last time I was trying to like run away each time I hit him, which was probably why I died. Um, ah, oh yeah. Oh, oh, quick, go to bed. Where's the bed? Where's my bed? I need to go to bed. Ah, 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 let me in. Okay. Ah, oh, much better. Okay, you guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my 20th episode. It was a really special episode. As you can tell, there's new intro music, probably new outro music, if anything. Um, probably a new picture for the intro as well. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was really fun to make. Um, hopefully you guys stick around and keep watching my, my Mega Craft episodes. I do appreciate the support that's been going on so far. You guys have been really awesome lately. I mean, our channel's starting to grow and it's it's pretty awesome. It's pretty awesome. Oh, oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. Let me take off all this armor. I can actually live stream. Surprise, surprise. I didn't think I could, but um, I actually can live stream. So if you want, I will put my live stream um, link down below. So go, f feel free to go, you know, follow me. And I'm not sure, no, I don't have like a schedule yet for live streaming, but um. I probably will do it every year once in a while, and then me and Toothpistol have already doing some official ones, so look out for those on our Facebook, and here too, we will announce everything, and it's going to be lots of fun. So thank you guys so much for watching, I do appreciate you guys watching our videos, so make sure to leave a like, a comment if you will, leave a challenge actually, leave more challenges for me. Oh wait, that reminds me, a challenge, I need to write that as done in the book of, the royal book of... Whatever challenges, duty, I don't even know. Forgot what I called it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, uh, there it is. And Dunno. Dunno, that's my Spanish version of done. All right, you guys. I will see you guys next episode. Leave me some suggestions of what I should do next. I probably will finish up the whole design of my farm and get it running. Um, what do you guys want to see next? Let me know. I will talk to you guys later. Peace out. Oh,